It's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Liana Apostolova to the Oxford Brain Diagnostics guest speaker series. So here is what, uh, how uh, Jucanumab should be, uh, should be administered, monthly infusions, 10 milligram per kg. And it's a, um, it, there is an escalation every two months. So the first two months patient would receive one milligram per kg, then three, then six, and eventually 10. There are some recommendations if, if doses are missed, most commonly because of ARIA, to be honest, um, how to restart at which dose and where to conduct this, uh, the, this treatment. So here is the recommended ARIA monitoring. Um, as we recommend in the newest article, uh, basically there is this uh, initiation MRI, which um, is allowable to have it within a year prior to study start, but honestly, it's best to have it within three, four months so that there is a concurrent picture of how many micro hemorrhages, if any, and strokes and white matter disease, all of that, the, the exclusionary criteria has to, have to be appreciated. And then of course, if a, at any point in time, there are symptoms that's suggestive of ARIA and MRI should be done right away. Um, um, if no symptoms, still there should be some screening MRIs and what we recommend is MRI prior to the fifth dose, the seventh dose, the ninth dose, and the twelfth dose. So prior to escalating to six milligrams into 10 milligrams in couple of observations on the 10 milligram dose. And these two that you see now marked with the arrow are in addition to what the trial was doing. So basically they had the screening MRI seventh and 12 dose um, safety MRI checkpoints, and we are adding the fifth and the ninth. The, and so this is all the data we have currently, uh, and there are three other amyloid reducing antibodies currently in development, and some, uh, all of them have uh, received the breakthrough designation from the FDA. Some have submitted data to the FDA for approval, again, accelerated pathway, and these are donanumab, gantanerumab, and lecanemab. All three reduce amyloid in the brain, so there's target engagement, just like we saw for aducanumab. So unprecedented times in AD therapeutics, um, selection of patient is really important for patient safety. And the decision has to be done in, uh, not by the physician, but rather by the patient and their family. If this is a good therapy after they're presented with the likelihood of clinical benefit, which is uncertain, and with the side effect profile of the drug.